Hello, hello, hello! Parece que travou aqui, Guará. Now it's back. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Good evening to everyone. Welcome to our 13th class of the intermediate level quarantine course. How is everybody? I already see some viewers over there. How are you doing? Good? Everybody feeling good, feeling positive, safe at home? Hello, hello. Hello, Regiane. How are you doing? How is everything? Edmilson. Hi, Edmilson. Guys, in a couple of minutes, we're going to start the class. So in about four minutes, we start. I normally like to wait at least five, five minutes before we begin the class. Um, because some people take time to enter, né? to access the link so everybody can start together. All right. Hello, Márcia. Hello, Cassia, Edson, Guarapa, Evandro, Jaine. I'm doing good, Jaine. Thank God. That's nice. Very good. And guys, today we are going to talk about the past. All right? So today is like a little review. We're going to review the past tenses in English. So very easy grammar, okay? Some easy, some a little bit more difficult. But I don't think you guys will have any problems. Edmilson Galo, <laughs> Edmilson, Edmilson, I'm gonna remove you from the course, Edmilson. <laughs> How are you guys? Hello, José. Doing good? I see some new faces here today. Hello, Juliano. How are you? Good? So, guys, in about two minutes, we begin the class, okay? Hello, Lu. Where's the, the cruzeirenses to help me here with Edmilson? Come on, guys, send here. Zero! Edmilson is playing with us. <laughs> Lu said, tamo junto, Edmilson. Ah, come on, Lu. You're better than that, Lu. Do you guys miss soccer? Watching soccer, Libertadores, Copa do Brasil, right? I turn on the TV, it's the same thing, the same thing every day. MTV, the same thing. Discovery Channel, the same programs. I want some soccer. Good, Márcia, very good. Márcia is a top student. One minute, so we can begin our class. Let me get here the websites ready and we begin. Just Márcia Cruzeirense here. Look at. Ah, we have some more. Where's the little fox here? There we go. Look the fox there. Hello, Gabriela. So, guys, let's begin our class. It's time to start our class today. Welcome, everybody, to one more intermediate class. Today, we are going to talk about the past tenses. A lot of students, not only students, a lot of English speakers, they have to use the past tenses a lot, right? When we're talking in a conversation, we use a lot and we talk a lot about our past. But I see a lot of students that commit a lot of mistakes. Né? Sometimes they use the present, sometimes they use only the simple past. And we know in English, guys, that English is a language that we need to express ourselves. 
Sometimes we want to express something continuous. Something, sometimes we want to express something that finished and didn't happen again. And sometimes we want to relate the past with the present. So today I'm going to review with you guys the past tenses, okay? We're going to talk about the simple past, easy, the past present perfect, um, the past perfect and the past perfect continuous, okay? Good? So let's begin. Turn the disc, teacher. <laughs> Okay, Edmilson, I'm gonna stop now, Edmilson. Guys, so for this first class, we're gonna do a little quiz before we start. I wanna see how much you guys know about the past. So for the first question here, guys, I want you to answer for me. A or B? Number one, they, -na -na -na, while I was cooking dinner. They were cleaning up or they had cleaned up? What do you think is the best option in this situation? Guys, A or B? We have here a word that is while. Né? When this, this word appears, it helps us to use the past. Okay? So, guys, A or B? Let's see. Hello, Thais. Cruzeirão cabuloso. Six one. So Gabriela thinks it's letter A for number one. Gabriela answered fast. And you guys, what do you think? So for the first one, the first option, you guys did very, very good. Louise, Jaine, Márcia, everybody here, they were cleaning up while I was cooking dinner, right? Let's see the next one, number two. Number two, we have three options, guys. Let's see. So for number two, there was no food left when I returned. They had eaten, they ate, or they were eating everything. What do you guys think? A, B, or C for this situation? Guys, tell me. A, B, or C. So here we have, as you can see, we have two actions happening um, in the past, right? A, B, or C. Guys, maybe this one, we have two options, but one is better, all right, for us to use. A, B, or C for option two. Number one, you guys did good, really good. Let's see. What do you think? Let's see the answers. All right, good. So the majority of you said B. Jaini thinks it's C. We're eating. Guys, the correct option here is there was no food left when I returned. They had eaten everything, okay? Let's do one more. So, number three, the last one, and then we go to the grammar. Three, if she had visited us last summer, she, the hikes in the mountain, she would have enjoyed, she would enjoy, or she had enjoyed. What do you guys think? A, B, or C for number three. Very good, Gabriela. For number two, we can interpret in two ways, né? A or B, but um, the past perfect letter A, letter B, it's better. Let's see for number three. So, if she had visited us last summer, she would have enjoyed, she would enjoy, or she had enjoyed. What do you think? Gabriela says it's A, and Jaini too. Joyce, A, everybody, A, very good, guys. So for number three, A, 
If she had visited us last summer, she would have enjoyed the hikes in the mountain, okay? So guys, very good. You guys are doing really good job. I can see you already studied some past tenses. Today, what I want to do is more compare when it's better to use one, when it's better to use the other, and then we practice a little bit of conversation, okay? Conversation online, so typing. The first one we're going to study today, guys, I'm not even going to teach you because we studied already, right, the present perfect in this course. In the past simple, you learn in the basic pre-intermediate level so we don't have any problems with this if it's confusing you tell me and i can stop the class and explain all right so kai what's the difference of the present perfect and the past simple let's see guys the past simple is an action that happens in the past and stops and finishes it doesn't have a relation with the present. I'm talking about something that happened and finished. Yesterday, I played soccer. I played and stopped. Today in the morning, I finished my homework. Past simple. So as you can see in the first example here, I painted a picture. This situation happened in the past and stopped. Now. The present perfect, in some way, it's going to have a relation with the present, okay? The action happened in the past, but has a relation with the present. So, for example, I have painted a picture. So, I painted in the past, but now look, look the painting. So, it can be for an action that just finished in the moment, a recent past. And here I have another example. So, I read the book. The situation happened and finished. No relation with the present. But if you want to show a relation with the present, you have to use the present perfect. Look, guys, I have read the book. So here now, I'm all happy. Look, this moment, my happiness is because I have read the book. So some way, somehow, the present perfect has a relation with the present, okay? Now, if you want to show that continues in the present, we're going to use for or since, right? So, I, I have known... Edmilson for one month. So now I have here for and since, and this shows that I met Edmilson in the past, but in the present I continue to know Edmilson. Okay? So for and since with the present perfect shows a relation with the present. Okay? Easy, guys. Any questions about the simple past or the present perfect? So, Kai, how do I choose between one or the other? Oops, sorry. The, the screen changed here. But the example that I was showing was this one. For and since, it's going to show a relation, right? It's going to show a relation with the present. So... Both present perfect and past simple are used to talk about a completed action. This is the difference, guys. Present perfect denotes recent actions and events connected with the present. So the present perfect has a connection with the present. Now, the past simple is an action that happened, finished, and has a specific time. So, yesterday, last week, last year, okay? Maybe the specific time is not in the sentence, but it's going to be in the context of the conversation, okay? So, before we go to the game, before we go to the conversation, 
I want you guys to complete for me one, two, three, and four. All right? So number one, I played or I have played tennis yesterday. What do you guys think? For number one, I played or I have played tennis yesterday. Let's see if you guys understood. Okay? And for number two, you guys can complete also one and two after we check three and four, okay? So one and two. Number two, I, my job for two years, I had or I have had my job for two years? What do you guys think? Help me out. Hello, Sergio. Very good, guys. So, number one, I played tennis yesterday, simple past. I have a specific time, easy, easy. And number two, guys, I, what? What do you guys think is the answer for number two? Good, Cassia. Good, Evandro. Very good, Márcia. Juliano, Thaís. Good job, guys. Perfect. And for number two. Number two, as you can see, I have here the for or since, right? So it's important to use the present perfect. I have had my job for two years, okay? Marcia, don't forget that present perfect you need have and the verb. The verb is have, so we're going to use have had. Okay, it's a little confusing, but we use the two have had that is the main verb. All right, um, and number three and number four, it's the same example, but number four, guys, let's do number four here. We yet now I have this little word here yet, we didn't eat yet, or we haven't eaten yet number four is negative so tell me guys what do you think present perfect or simple best for number four okay number four only three it's repeated you're welcome Asia. let's see number four so Yes, very good, Sergio. And number four, it's in the negative. When I use the simple past in the negative, I need the auxiliary didn't. When I use in the present perfect, haven't, right? So, Gabriela, she did very good for number four here. The correct is, we haven't eaten yet, all right? So, the correct response here is, we haven't eaten eaten yet good job all right good job gabriela now guys let's play the game of pinocchio look at me today i'm gonna be pinocchio all right and what does pinocchio do he tells lies now i want you to see if you can guess if kai is lying or not okay so look at my facial expression expressions body language how i speak and i want to know if you think i'm telling the truth or if i'm lying okay so let's play this game how does it work let me explain to you guys here i have different experiences so i have here different experiences you guys are going to ask me one of these experiences. For example, Kai, have you found any money? And I'm Pinocchio. So I'm going to say, yes, I have. For every experience here, you're going to say, I'm going to say, yes, I have. Now, you guys have to guess if I'm telling the truth or not, okay? So I'm gonna make um, different situations talking about this experience 
you guys can make questions, okay? Like detective, detetive, to see if I'm telling the truth or not, okay? So, Thais, Márcia, Patrícia, Gabriela, anybody, you guys can ask me any question here. Ask me any experience, if I have or not, all right? So, you can ask me, Kaê, have you lost your temper in public? Have you slept in a tent? Any questions? I'm going to wait for you guys to ask me, okay? Hey, Samuel, no problem, Samuel. Samuel, today we're talking about the past tenses, so it's a very easy uh, grammar, it's more a review, you didn't miss a lot, okay? Don't worry, after you can see the recording of the beginning of the class. So guys, ask me a question. Buy clothes online, forgot an important date. Let's see. Cried watching a movie. You guys can ask me any of these questions. But remember, guys, when I'm asking, you guys have to say, have you ever done -na -na? Okay? So you guys are going to say, have you ever? Uh, we have a question from Masia here. So let's go first with Masia, okay? Masia asked me, Kae, have you ever fallen asleep in class or at work? Masia, yes, I have, okay? You guys can ask me questions now related to Masia. When did you fall asleep? Where did you fall asleep? Okay, so you can ask me questions. Remember, simple past now because you're asking specific. Marcio, one time I fell asleep, I was doing pré-vestibular and I studied at Soma in BH and I fell asleep during cursinho. And you know when you sleep and you go like this? This happened to me in class and I kicked the person in front of me. So, do you guys think I'm telling the truth or am I lying? Now, comment for me. Do you think I'm telling the truth or am I lying, guys? Pinocchio or it's real, this story? What do you think? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Is your teacher Pinocchio or is he telling the truth? I'm not a good liar, okay? So I'm gonna already give you guys some tips here. I'm not a very good liar, so be careful with me. Gabriela thinks it's true and Jaini thinks it's true. Guys, actually, this is a true story, okay? This really happened to me. Uh, was in 2012 and I fell asleep, right? Lombeira after lunch, so this happened to me. Let's get another question here. Gabriela asked me, Kai, have you ever called someone by the wrong name? Have you ever called someone by the wrong name? Yes, I have. This is actually um, a really bad story, but I think was last year, in the end of the year, I called my girlfriend by my ex's name, by accident. So I was gonna say my girlfriend's name, I don't know why I said my ex-girlfriend's name. But my girlfriend, she's very relaxed, she didn't really care, she didn't have problem with this. What do you guys think, true or true or false? True or truth? Gabriela, you can say true or truth. But when you say truth, you it's better to say the. It's the truth. Okay? What do you guys think? This one is true or false? Am I telling the truth or false about my ex-girlfriend? What do you think? <laughs> Someone said, oh my God, and, and you're alive. 
Gabriela thinks it's false. Juliano thinks it's false. Luizy thinks it's false. Guys, it's false, okay? Pinocchio, my nose grew in this one. Thank God this never happened to me. Imagine. Like Samuel said, I probably wouldn't be alive. Guys, let's do one more here now. Let's get, let me see a good one here. Um, all right, good. So, Samuel asked me, Kai, have you ever cheated on an exam? Yes, I have. Okay, Samuel. At university, I don't cheat. I don't like to cheat. But there was one time that I really, really needed to pass in a subject. That was Mecânica Geral. And wasn't really cheating, but before the, the test arrived for me some exercises. Né? And the exercises were similar to the test. So this was the time that I didn't cheat, but I got a little help né, from these exercises. What do you guys think? True or false? What I'm saying? Eh, Samuel, this is a bad question you're asking, Samuel. My mom is watching the class. What do you think? True or false? True or false that guy do you think I am? look at my face I cheated on a test True Cassia thinks it's true come on Cassia me so intelligent I'm gonna cheat Cassia You think I'm gonna cheat of course not Samuel thinks I'm telling the truth Who never né Samuel guys actually this is a true story okay this happened I passed I needed I think 25 in 30 and I got 25 points, okay? Don't do this at home, all right? Don't follow your teacher's example. So, guys, let's continue now. The next one that we have, very, very easy also. This one we're talking about the past continuous, all right? When am I going to use the past continuous, Kai? Guys, we're going to use for an action in the past, okay? And that it's didn't happen in Finnish. It's an action that was continuous. It's an action that was in progress at the moment. We can say past continuous or we can say past progressive, okay? For example, today from 10 to 12 a.m., 12 p.m., I was having a zoom meeting so as you can see here I have the past continuous this is something that happened in a progress at that time it has a duration right it doesn't happen in Finnish it has a duration with time and very easy I'm gonna use the verb to be in the past and I'm gonna use the verb with ing so this is the structure that I use to talk about the past continuous. I was playing soccer. I was having lunch. Something in progress in the past. Okay? So look at the difference here, guys. I have this little board for you guys. And we have the simple past. Something happened at that exact time. 7.15 p.m. He called me. Happened? Finished, he called, stopped. All right? Now, the past continuous has a duration. It was from 6.30 to 7.30. So, I was eating dinner. All right? Guys, it's very common to put together the past continuous with the simple past. So, when I have an action that's happening... And something interrupts, something stops this progress, I use the simple past. For example, I was eating dinner when he called me. Interruption. 
when he called me last night i was eating dinner okay so we can use um, the two situations now i want to know what you were doing what were you doing at some specific moments now complete sentences guys i want to know what were you doing last night before going to bed so comment for me guys what were you doing last night before going to bed use the past continuous okay yesterday before going to bed i was watching netflix i was watching the michael jordan documentary on netflix it's a very good espn documentary about michael jordan okay so i was watching netflix and you guys I, my mom said you will be punished kai see samuel what you did so tell me guys what were you doing last night before going to bed yesterday before going to bed i was playing cod what cod cod it's a game i don't know what this is samuel jaini i was listening to my favorite music very good jaini jaini remember to put listening to okay i was listening to my favorite music what's your favorite music jaini oh it's sunny now now we have the sun here where's the sunglasses guarapa get the sunglasses for me guarapa So tell me, yesterday before going to bed, I was reading a Bob Marley book. Nice. And before I fell asleep, I was watching Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. Awesome. Very good. Guys, now, I want to know what you were doing when you decided to study English. Do you remember what you were doing when you decided to study English for the can be for the first time or for the quarantine course like oh siege has a course i'm gonna do what were you doing ah samuel call of duty sorry true juliano i was studying for tcc juliano thank god i already finished my tcc it's a very very difficult moment right in when we are in university my god tcc made me crazy ah jaini said have you ever seen the rain very good creed dance clear water creed dance is one of the best bands in the world and it was and when you decided to study english guys i remember when i decided to teach english I was at my house, né? I used to live in a university in the past, I used to live in Republica Minesia, and I was 19, 20 years old, and I wasn't with money to enjoy, né? to go to parties, to travel, and I didn't like to ask my mom and my dad for money. So every month, give me money, give me money, I said, oh, I'm gonna start working, né? and then I decided to teach English. Gabriela, she decided when she was living in the USA. Very good. What else? I was on vacation trying to understand why I hated English so much without even trying to learn. Really, Jaime? And your English is so nice. You have such a good English. That's great good job so on vacation thinking of studying that's a that's a example of a student congratulations Samuel was in 2015 so you study for five years now that's awesome very good guys and this question here now oh, now now Edmilson we're not gonna talk about Cruzeiro and Atlético I want to know the World Cup, Brazil in Germany 7-1. Where were you watching the game? Do you remember what house or with who 
you were watching the game. Edgy Milson, I was listening to Pink Floyd. Very good, awesome. Edgy Milson, remember, I was listening to, okay, to Pink Floyd. And Brazil versus Germany, guys, 7-1. Where were you watching the game? Um, this time, during the 7-1, I was watching the game in a friend's house at Felisburgo, in my city. I remember I was with the Brazilian t-shirt, and when the game finished, I removed to go home, because I was so ashamed to use the shirt and go in the street. But I was watching the game at a friend's house in Felisburgo. <laughs> Juliano, I decided to study English when I had difficulty at work. Very good. And Jaini said, that same day, English became a passion for me. That's good. Really nice. Samuel never went to a regular school. That's, you have facility, right? It's easy for you to learn English. Good job. Look at Davi, Luiz's face, Dante, Fred. Everybody without understanding anything, right? With this seven one. Gabriela was watching the game at her house. So for you, this was was easier. Now when you don't go out to watch the game, you suffer in your house. It's much better. Guys, I had barbecue, drinks, everything prepared né, to celebrate. In Brazil, does something like this. My God, Evandro's situation is worse than mine. I was in Felisburgo. Evandro, I was watching the game at Savassi BH. Guys, remember, watching, we spell like this. That's the correct spelling of watching. I was probably sleeping or doing something else. You don't remember, Jaini? Lucky you. Somewhere, I was in my house, in my couch, and I didn't finish to watch the game. I didn't finish watching the game. Good. Patricia, I was watching this game at my mom's house. Very good. Guys, this one here now. I want to know during the 9-11 attack. Do you guys remember what you were doing when um, the terrorist crashed in the Twin Towers? What were you doing during the 9-11 attack? Cassie was watching the game in a bar. So let's see. During the 9-11 attack, guys, I was having class. So I was actually at school in the United States. And I remember the alarm ringing eh, of the fire drill. Drrr. And then everybody went outside and they made the communication for us. But this I remember like it was yesterday. Uh, from my house in the USA, I could see the smoke né, from Manhattan. So it was a very bad moment in the US. Do you remember what you were doing at that time? I think a lot of people here was at home, né, arriving home from school, and you were watching Dragon Ball Z. A lot of people tell me this. I was watching Dragon Ball Z cartoons. Look, Samuel just said. Good, Juliana. See? The exact thing. A lot of people remember this. They remember Dragon Ball Z and the attack in the same day. Very good. Awesome. Guys, now we're going to go to a grammar net to finish. That's a little bit more complicated. So now we're going to talk about the past perfect. And when do we use the past perfect, guys? The past perfect is when we have a past before another past, okay? So past before past, we're going to use the past perfect. How, Kai? How does this work? Tell me. Guys, so let's imagine that Samuel today, for example. Let's use Samuel as an example. Samuel, he arrived a little bit late for our class. So Samuel can say, when I arrived for the class, comma, 
it had started already. So here we have two different situations. We can put already here. That is optional, right? So let's put in already here. It had already started. So we have two different situations here. We have the class started and we have the moment that Samuel arrived into the class. Now I want you to analyze the two sentences. What happens first? Samuel arrived or the class started, guys? So which is more in the past? Samuel arrived or the class started first? What do you think? I was helping my mother to take care of my brother who was born on September 1st, 2001, a few days before. Ah, awesome. And Master, she's a little bit younger, she doesn't remember, né? So Master, she was born in 2003. Guys, as you can see, the action that happened first, the class started, right? Before Samuel arrived, the class had already started so this is a past before another past okay now this here that we say this is the past perfect but when we're speaking about past we have also another grammar that we can use so let's imagine this situation when Samuel arrived comma we had uh, been talking about past tenses let's put here Pinocchio so now let's analyze this sentence now I have when Samuel arrived okay the same thing and we have we had been talking about Pinocchio Guys, this is also the past perfect. But now I have something that was in progress in that moment. We have something that was happening before Samuel arrived. So this is the past perfect continuous, okay? And we're going to use had been plus the verb with ing. So it's always this, had been ing okay easy so we have the two sentences past perfect and the past perfect continuous any questions guys any problems you can answer here all right so here's the difference of them past perfect i finished dinner he called me i had finished dinner by the time he called me last night. Two actions in the past that happened and finished. Now, the past perfect continuous, this is something that's in progress. Né? Before he called me, I was studying for two hours. Two hours studying. So, I had been studying for two hours by the time he called me last night. Okay? So we can use the two different structures. Now, let's practice. Guys, I want to know about one regret that you have. So tell me, I wish I had... -na -na. Using the past perfect, I want you to tell me some things you regret not doing or doing in the past. Okay? For example, Mikae... I wish I had studied more in university. In the beginning of the course, I wish I had studied more. And you guys, tell me some regrets that you have using the pre past perfect. I wish I had studied more, for example. And you guys, tell me a regret you have. Normally, I don't like to regret things. Né? I think everything happens for a reason. 
But sometimes we wish we could do things a little bit different, right? So what some regrets you have? Samuel, Márcia, Edmilson, regrets of the past. Let's see. Today, guys, we're having a, a, a long delay né, with your comments and with what I'm saying. So that's why sometimes I take a little bit long to go to the next slide, okay? Because I'm waiting for your responses on the chat. All right, no problem. But we're doing good. You guys are doing really good. Gabriela said, I wish I had finished pronunciation classes before coming back to Brazil. Juliana, I wish I had studied more English. É, Juliano, in the time you were doing what, hein? At parties, traveling, what were you doing? <laughs> so tell me about some regrets that you have and we go to the last exercise of the day, okay? And today, guys, I'm going to post for you more practice on the, the past tenses on Telegram, okay? So if you're not in the Telegram group, access with the link. If you don't have the link, tell me I send here, okay? So, now, the next game, the next exercise that I want to do with you, you guys are going to tell me why did I say something. For example, if I say I'm sorry to a friend, you guys are gonna comment for me why I said that. For example, Ankai, you had forgotten his birthday. That's why you said sorry. So you guys are gonna give me the reason why I said some things to people, okay? Using the past perfect or the past perfect continuous. You guys can use the two situations. So guys, why did I say this to my best friend? I'm sorry, best friend. I'm really sorry. Why did I say this to my best friend? Give me some ideas why I could have said some of these things to my best friend. What did I do to my best friend? One example can be, you had forgotten your best friend's birthday, right? This is one example. Samuel said, Samuel's like me, I don't like to regret. Kai, no regrets. Very good. Let's see. What happened today? I'm only seeing Samuel, Gabriela, Juliana, and Márcia participating. You guys are not typing. Why did I say this to my best friend, guys? Think of a reason that I could have said, uh, done to my best friend. Any ideas? And then we can go to the next one, the next reason for saying something. Because you forgot to go to his house. Good, that can be a reason. Maybe I forgot to go to his house. Jaini said, you said that because you said that Cruzeiro is better than God. I'm sorry, Edmilson. Good, Jaini. That's a good reason. I like Jaini's reason there. That's a nice one. Guys, the last one. Why did I say this to my mother? So to finish, I'm going to say thank you, mother. For what reason do you think I said thank you to my mother? Gabriela gave a good one. I drank my best friend's caipirinha. I'm sorry, I drank. Drank is correct, Gabriel. Ah, you had drunk, yes, past participle. True, Gabriela. You had drunk her caipirinha. And why did I say this to my mother, guys? What did my mother do for me that I said thank you? What do you guys think? Give me a reason 
why I would say thank you to my best, to my mother, my best friend too, né? What's a good reason that she did for me? I can think of a million reasons to thank, thank my mother, a million, but I want to know just one. What do you guys think? Because your mom gave you a nice piece of cake. Yeah, Samuel. Every time I go to my mother's house, she waits with a cake or sweet for me and I go crazy. I love it. I love it. That's a good, good reason to say thanks to my mother. Good one. I'm the guy that I love sweets, so. Guys, um, because she always supports you. Very good, Marcia. So, because she, all right, we're gonna use the subject, she always supports you, okay? Guys, so we came to the end of our class today. Today the class was more just a review, né? Because simple past, present perfect, past continuous, you guys are tired of listening to this. But the past perfect in the past perfect continuous is not very common in English. So we need to practice. I thought it was important for us to review and compare né? what we already know. Today on Telegram, I'm going to send you guys some exercises for you to practice, especially the past perfect, okay? Thank you very much for everyone that participated here today. Have a really good night. And if you want, right now, 7 o'clock, I'm going to be teaching advanced level, okay? With um, reported speech. See you guys. Have a great night. And I'll see you next week. Okay? Bye-bye.